Hi, my name is Jameis Bittrick. I'm a network engineer, and this is Regular Networks. Today we're looking at GNS3, specifically GNS3 running inside of a remote server on Proxmox, and we're looking at the cloud interface. Um, I discovered this as an issue in my personal labs where I could reach, when, when connecting through a cloud interface, my clients could reach out to my router, they could reach out to the world, but a lot of times traffic wouldn't make it back. I come to find out because it was connecting, it, it, it was trying to connect through a NATed interface and it needed to be connected through a bridge interface. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a bridged interface on a GNS3 virtual machine running on Proxmox. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an example of the issue. So let's go ahead and create a new lab. We're gonna call this Cloud Lab. We're gonna drag Cloud out here. Oh, not the NAT. We want the cloud. We're gonna put the cloud out there, virtual PC, and connect the two. We're gonna start the virtual PC. Console to it. All right, we're gonna do tell the virtual PC to use. Here, let's put this full screen. Tell the virtual virtual PC to go ahead and get a DHCP address. IP DHCP. We'll see discover, offer, request, and accept. And now we have an address: ten zero zero two twenty five stroke twenty three. The gateway is ten zero zero one. Let's see if we can reach 10.0.0.1. Ping 10.0.0.1. That looks great. Let's see if we can reach Google. Ping 8.8.8.8. .8 well, even that seems to work. Here's where the issue comes in and what we're trying to solve. If I open PowerShell here on my local machine, I can ping, I cannot ping this client. So we cannot ping um, 100225. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Ping 10.0.0.225. And we'll see it's just a failure. Why is this important? Um, this is important if you have other virtual machines outside of your GNS3 lab but still on your local LAN. And for that matter, physical machines that you want things to communicate with. Um, I ran across this recently while trying to set up a bird lab and couldn't establish BGP sessions inside and outside. It took me a while to figure out why. Um, and I found out it's because I needed a bridged interface. So let's go ahead and get started. Come over here to Proxmox. We're gonna go to the virtual machine in question. We're gonna go over here to hardware. We're going to go ahead and give it a new network device. Add network device. We want to set it to our default Proxmox bridge. And we're going to hit add. Now we see that down here in Proxmox. Let's hop in on the console. So I'm already SSH'd in. And let's look at the interfaces that are on this device. IPA. All right, you'll see we have ENS18. That's the 10.0.0.2.14. That's the default address for this. That's a DHCP address. You all see down here we have a new one. We have ENS19. This is the new interface we just created in Proxmox and the interface that we are going to turn into a virtual bridge. But first, we need a little bit of system administration. So let's go ahead and make sure that our virtual machine is completely up to date. Um, and just to be all on the same page, this is the GNS3 virtual machine. It's the VM that runs the GNS3 server. So, and it's gonna be Ubuntu based. I have a previous video on that. It should be in this series, but I'll link to it below on how to make one. But let's go ahead and make sure it's up to date. So we're gonna do a sudo apt 
update dash y. Going to make sure that everything's up to date here. It should be. We're also going to do a pseudo. So, so we have all packages are up to date. There's nothing for me to update. But because these are the steps you're going to go through, I'm going to go and show you. So we're going to do sudo apt upgrade dash y. So it looks like everything's up to date. That's great. To make the bridge work on here, we're going to have to install um, the bridge utilities package. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do sudo apt install bridge dash utils dash y dash y just means yes. So if there's anything that prompts us, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? It'll just take care of itself. It may be at this point that you find you get an error um, with updating the GNS3 VM. Um, if the VM version updates but the client version doesn't, that's okay. The VM won't start offering the correct version for the client, the correct version of GNS3 for the client until it's rebooted. So at this point, if it's been a while since you've updated the virtual machine, it's probably not a bad idea to reboot it. Just keep in mind you're also going to have to update all of your clients. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and start configuring this. We are going to configure this using NetPlan. This is Ubuntu, so NetPlan's the new default they like to use. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to cd etc netplan. We're going to take a look at what's down in here. There's an existing YAML file. Let's go ahead and make a backup of that. sudo cp. All right, this should be making a backup of that. All right, now we've got two files. Let's go ahead and crack open that YAML file. So nano 00 installer, and here we are. You're welcome to use, oh, look at that, unwritable. I need to open that with sudo. So let's go ahead and exit. Let's try this again with a sudo command. There you go, much better. This is YAML. Um, for the sake of making this easier, because I I struggle getting this a little bit uh, with the spacing and all that good stuff. So for the sake of making it easier, I've already uploaded two config files um, to GitHub. I'm going to share those down below. One is going to be how to configure the YAML file with static details. And the other is going to be how to configure the YAML file without static details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this part in because ENS19 is our new bridged interface we want to use. So we're going to copy this part in so that yeah, so that it knows about it. So we're going to copy there you go that's in there. Now to actually create the bridge and this, this is how we create the bridge. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. Come in here All right, the bridges are in there. We need to write out, we need to exit, and then we're done with that. Um, there's one more piece of this, and it actually looks like I didn't write it down in my documentation, which is completely okay, because I know where I got it from. So we're gonna go over to this website. I'm gonna link this down below. This is a pretty good article. We are looking for sudo net plan apply is what we need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. sudo net plan apply. All right, great. So that is applied. Let's go ahead. What else did we need to do? Actually, that was it. That's everything. So if we did come here now, we'll do IPA, we'll see a new bridge zero. We'll see it right down here, bridge zero. So that's perfect, it's exactly what we need. So we're done in the GNS3 virtual machine. We can go ahead and close this. Back to GNS3. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna 
shut down this virtual PC and delete this connection. You're going to see why here in just a second. Shut her down. Let's turn that PC back on. We're going to configure the cloud. We're going to show special Ethernet interfaces. Oh, and it looks like the new one we just created isn't in there yet. So let's try this. Let's get rid of that cloud. Bring a new cloud down here. See if we can configure it in there. There we go. Now we see BR0 right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect from VPC1 to BR0, which is our new bridge interface. Let's start virtual PC. Let's console into it. We're going to tell it we want to do a DHCP address. Discover, offer, request, acknowledge, no, accept. 10.0.0.2.25.23. It's the same address we had the same last time. Um, but there should be a few changes. So let's try and ping Google. You can see that Google comes back just fine. This part should work. But no guarantees, and if it doesn't, I'll switch to a machine it will work from. Okay, that's not working. That's actually an issue with this machine right here. That's okay. We can change that. Let's see. What's a good device I can SSH to? 10.0.1.12. Here we go. This is one I've been working in. All right, cool. We're going to, as a matter of fact, this is the BART server I was talking about earlier. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try and ping that PC1. Let's see what its address was. So we're going to do a ping 10.0.0.225. And we'll see that they can out ping each other. So now the servers in my environment outside of GNS3 can communicate with things inside GNS3 like they're all in the same LAN. I hope this has been helpful. My name's been Jameis, and thanks for watching.